Then we proceed to learning outcome number three, pricing strategies. There are three types of pricing strategies, price scheming, penetration pricing and status quo pricing. Number one is price scheming. Price scheming is sometimes called as a market plus approach to pricing because it denotes a high price relative to the prices of the competing products. Maksudnya, meletakkan harga yang tinggi. Scheming bermaksud harga yang tinggi. Companies often use this type of strategy for new products when the product is perceived by the target market as having a unique advantages. For example, Timberland products sets a premium prices to support and capture its high perceived value. This type of strategy is suitable for a specialty products that normally sets a higher price as compared to shopping and convenience products. Strategy number two is penetration pricing. Penetration pricing is at the opposite end of the spectrum from skimming. Penetration pricing means that charging a low price for a product or services in order to reach the mass market. The low price is designed to capture a large market resulting in a lower production cost. If the company objective is to capture a large market share, this strategy would be suitable for the companies. Examples like how hypermarket such as Tesco and Giant charge a penetration pricing for their products which is typically the convenience goods. Then status quo pricing strategy. This is the third basic price strategy a firm may choose also known as meeting the competition or going rate pricing. It means that the companies charge a price that which is similar to their competitors. That is meant by status quo. Just follow the price that is offered in the market. Examples like if the company is small, having a status quo pricing may be the safest route to the long term survival. And this pricing strategy is the easiest way for the company to set their price for their goods and services. So as a conclusion, pricing is about finding the customer valuations. Actually, pricing is simple. Customer will not pay if they find that the value of the product it is not similar to the price that they are willing to pay for the goods and services. So it is very important for the marketing managers to determine the types of pricing orientation and align with its strategies in order to be able to sell the products and services and at the end of the day they are able to gain profits out of their sales. And with that we already and chapter 10 which is also the final chapter in our syllabus so thank you very much until we meet again next time inshallah